welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Brittany Christina of the Brittany Christina Collection, and this channel focuses on luxury, fashion design, and entrepreneurship. If you are interested in any of those things, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment. I would love to stay connected with you. All right, y'all, so today we are gonna do a ship with me video. I am going to go through all of my packaging materials and walk you through exactly how I package all of my orders. So let's get started for those of you who this is your first interaction with me i recently started a poshmark shop it has been a couple weeks at this point and so this is my first time doing it um very trial and error but i have been able to make a few sales since i opened up my store um if you are not familiar poshmark actually includes shipping um within their platform so it doesn't come out of the seller's pocket. I believe the customer does pay for shipping, but Poshmark has a prepaid shipping label with all of the orders. And so with that being said, I went on USPS.com and ordered um, quite a few different packaging material. Everything was free um, and it took a couple days to come. So I do wanna show you all what I use the most often. So the first item here is a flat rate envelope. And this is also called a poly mailer, as some people say. Um, I really like using this. This has actually bubble wrap in it. I'm not sure if you all can see that, but it does have bubble wrap in it. Um, I tend to use these for like small clothing items. So like tops, anything that I can fold and fit nicely in here, um, I will use. Now, the next thing that I have is a box. And so this is a medium flat rate box. So this is what it looks like when it's flat. And then of course you can open it, you know, close it. So this is a pretty small box. I like using these boxes because they open from the top as opposed to the boxes that open up from the side. So I use these a lot whenever I have shoes that I'm sending out or if there's just any big bulky items, maybe a bag or just something that I don't want to squish and it can't really fit into this poly mailer, I'll use this medium flat rate box. Um, the next thing that I have is a large flat rate box and this is how it looks. So this one is actually, I taped it. Um, so it's pretty much the same as the medium flat rate box. It just looks a little bit bigger. Um, and so anything that I'm putting in boxes, um, I'll normally add tissue paper in the bottom of it and make it packaged really nicely. So I'll show you that process in a few minutes, but I use the large boxes for any bundle items. Um, any kind of oversized shoes maybe, or if I just feel like I need some extra room and I don't wanna like cram my item in there, I'll use the larger box. Um, so of the USPS items, those are the three most common um, packaging items that I use. And then I also have my own, I don't wanna say custom, but this is just a fancier poly mailer. So this is actually bigger than um, the, the USPS one. So this is mine and then this is like the USPS one, as you can see. So it's a little bigger. So again, if there's any clothing items that can't fit in here, but it's, you know, the box is too big, I'll just put them in this. This I actually did purchase from Amazon um, and I purchased this a while back. So I actually had um, a lot of shipping materials already and I was like, hmm, these are kind of just idle. Let me pull them out and use them. So um, I do use this. The only thing about this is that it is super thin and it does not have bubble wrap in it. So there are some extra steps that I take just to make sure my package is safe and will not get damaged um, whenever I use this. But this is a, a good buy. And I'll try to link this down below on Amazon if I can find it and if it's still available. Okay, so these are my shipping supplies. Right now I have the item that I will be shipping, which are these um, black suede heels, wedge heels. I have my box, so I am going to be using the large flat rate box for this particular shoe. 
um, I have these clear bags that I'll be using to wrap each shoe with. I have tissue paper, which I'm gonna use. I have packing tape here, my thank you cards, my shipping label, and this shredded paper, which I like to use instead of bubble wrap. I just feel like it fills the box nicely. So these are my supplies. Now let's get to packing.
so I look a little hot mess but we are here at the post office and I am going to drop off my package doing the most but here we go and that is that um, package successfully delivered to the post office so a little crazy but it is a Saturday morning um, so yeah hope you all like this video uh, feel free to like subscribe and leave a comment let me know if you find this helpful and I'll see you in the next video